A Gaston County artist prides himself on being a throw throwback, and we mean way back, as in 2.5 million years ago. His caveman mentality is an escape from today's complicated world. Queen City News reporter John Lee has a story that seems right out of the Stone Ages. Across the street from Poston Park in Gastonia, a modern-day hunter-gatherer digs in. Any, any component I want, I have to go and get from nature in some way. Didn't take as long to find the dirt on him. One, I kind of just get rocks out of the way um, and try to get a good understanding of the, what shade the clay will actually be once it's dry. Collecting clay is William Underwood's way of tapping into a primal instinct. It felt very right for me to use it. That's pretty much all there is to it. From there, it's kind of history. It's just worked for me. What he meant to say is from there, it's kind of prehistoric. This is just water. At home, he mixes the clay with water. All that mudslinging is part of a passion project that sets him free. It, it made sense because the, the work I was doing, the materials I was using felt so primitive. Um, I just got me um, in a headspace where I was thinking about what caused these ancient humans to make art. Williams has learned to channel his inner caveman. Maybe someone like this fellow? We hate to club you over the head with this storyline, but thinking like a Neanderthal actually inspired his creative process. Check out the finished pieces up in his, well, man cave. The colors of North Carolina clay he gathers pay off with an earthy palette at his fingertips, perhaps perfect for those consuming a paleo art diet. How this has been impactful to me is just meditating on the lives of ancient humans, prehistoric humans who were, uh, you know, totally in touch and at peace with nature around them. There's a method to his madness. A lot of the process I can't control. It was a giant leap for this caveman artist when he learned to make fire. William's a chef by trade, so giving each canvas a little extra caramelization comes naturally. I just watch the back of it, start to get some burn marks. Letting nature do the work adds an element of exciting unpredictability. When he's not burning his work over an open flame, he lays hot coals over it. Kind of taking a lot of practice to figure out how I can get some holes in a lot of places versus just, you know, <laughs> burning it to, to pieces. He says the approach has given him a chance to ponder something deep. What is at the very core of our being and kind of fundamentally as humans, what makes us have the, just have the desire to, to create. The artist makes it look so simple, he almost makes you think that any caveman could do it. Uh, sorry, Geico commercial cave dweller. I didn't want to write that line, but I caved. Let's just hope William's future includes fewer primitive puns like mine and more trial by fire. I don't know, I guess there's not a name for it. I just say, this ain't burning, burning the canvas. <laughs> In Stanley, Unga Bunga, John Lee, Queen City News. Well, Underwood has taken a sabbatical from his culinary career to be at home more with his little girl and selling his caveman-inspired art has helped him to put food on the table for his family. We'll be right back.